Alright, what is up you guys, and as always, welcome back to an overview battle with Julie really Discarender. Today we're going up against Finn from Twitter, and yeah, hopefully we can get something really exciting. Now, I had a very, very tough game last time versus uh, Galactic, and I really hope to get something out of this. Yeah, this looks better, but still worse. Um, actually, we got... Uh, Damn shame we got X-Riddle actually, because X-Riddle is, well, by all means, a very threatening presence. <sighs> Let's lead off with this Sunder. Like, it could be um, just um, a Sash lead with... Ah, um... oh, this is tough though. Like, Regilecki could be very well rounded for this matchup if if I get extra out of the way, which there is no reason for him trying to lose it. So we are in trouble. And the way I see it, he has to have a sashed variant of the extra for this matchup. Anything else doesn't make sense. So if he leads up with extra trying to waste it, I need to bring in. Uh... <sighs> That's the thing though. You lead off with Sapdos. That's good. We absolutely are gonna bait in. Uh... He could be a scarf U turn though. I gotta reflect anyway. He should be worried about me. Yeah, withdraws, X Rail comes in, makes 100% sense. Um, and we get our reflect up. That's a mole breaker. Oh, I can only assume this is a sash set. So if I were him, would I earthquake directly? In my book, that doesn't make too much sense. So basically, I send in Iskender. Uh, Isunder and Iskender, that's quite uh, unique nicknames right there. And my hope is just to kind of force him out. I think he could self rock, but Earthquake makes more sense. Just about to say. And that's not the worst. Other than, you know, I am flying though, what can he do to me? What are the switch-ins? Hmm. I'm actually gonna bring this play. Um, I am leveling, but I think Saptos could be a switch-in. Or maybe, let's see, Griff. Yeah, okay. That's cool. Put a meter beam there, that would have been nice. So, I soul stance here. Let's see, foul play or toxic? Don't foul play. Knock off, I can do knock off. Rough skin though. Rough skin though. I took my expert belt though, that's actually not nice. I got a stone edge, don't I? If I scale shot, I know I would speed anything that comes in. Just don't have foul play, basically. Oh, we did good. Oh, there's a crit. I was like, damn. Let's see. Three. Four. No. Damn it, don't have foul play. I swear. I swear if you have it. Ah, you turn. That's better. <laughs> oh, yeah, the rock. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> hmm. Now, he could have Unawareical Fable. And I don't believe a plus two earthquake could kill. And yeah, here comes Sapdos. Like. I gotta go for Stone Edge. And that's reliable. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. And it doesn't kill. So. Yo! Oh! Oh, Rough Skin just keeps on going. 
Um, I can of just yell a shot though. It's more reliable. He would draws. Wait. Two. Stolobor. Okay. Don't know where he was predicting, but okay. I have my suspicions. <sighs> because basically the way I see it... By the way, that Zapdos has to be scarfed. Right. That's leftovers. Because he needs to shadow sneak with... I have no idea what he wants to do. I was so sure that I was sashed. I could still use Garchomp to an extent. But I am not going to be in a good spot with them um, when AG Slash comes in. Magirna. Okay, and not an air balloon. I wonder. Dynamax? Oh no, he. Okay, fine. Fine, Fen. Fine. <laughs> Garchomp did Garchomp stuff. That scale shot said, I'll tell you guys, once you get that thing going, it just gets very nasty fast. And this was one of those games. And I liked it. I was kind of hoping for a sweep, but fine. I would have switched out versus Aegis last anyway. Anyway, guys, always, thank you for watching. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.